Okay, Divination, thank you for joining us in this live stream. And today I will show you how to add book previews to Divi's new author layout back, which came out this Monday. So if you haven't checked that out yet, make sure that you do. I've mentioned a link in the description below. And if you're not an Elegant Themes member yet, make sure that you check Divi as well. I've put a link to the product page where you can discover Divi for yourself. So without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so let's start by looking at the new author layout pack. So it contains seven different layouts. We have a home page, a landing page, uh, an events page, a shop page, a contact page, a blog page, and an about page. And all of these layouts are highly customizable, so you can modify them to your own needs. For instance, you can replace all of these images with your own book covers and, you know, the structure is just really minimalistic, but it just shares all of the content that you want to share with, on your author website so it really gets to the point and all of the layouts that are included a highly function um, to make everything that you want to happen uh, go really quick so for instance this events page where people can register um, to you know attend a reading or anything else and then there's also a shop page where you can add uh, all of your books and actually create a um, sales funnel through your own website and then we have a contact page a blog page and an about page and obviously you will need to add your own blog post for them to show up on your blog page so what we'll do within this live stream tutorial and i'll just show you before we dive into it is how to add book previews so of course, people, whenever they're trying to look for the books that they want to purchase, they would like to see uh, a glimpse of it and see what the content is about. And you can definitely do that on your WordPress website. And for that, we're going to use the 3D Flipbook plugin, which is for free. And we're going to show you two ways on how to implement this on your pages. And the first one is on click. So over here, I have this image. And if I click on it, the PDF preview will show up. So you c you actually can decide for yourself um, how many pages you want to share with your visitors, um, but you will have to put that within a PDF file and upload that one uh, afterwards as well. So I'll show you how to do that within this tutorial. And if I scroll down over here, I also have a book preview right on the page and people can scroll through this as well. They can open it they can print it and they can navigate through all of the pages. All right, so the first thing you will need for this tutorial is the interactive 3D flipbook plugin. And I've mentioned a link within the description below. So I'm using the free version of this plugin. Um, so go ahead and download this and let's get started. So I'll go back to my website, go to the WordPress dashboard. And of course, the first thing I'm going to do is add this plugin to my WordPress website by going to plugins, clicking on add new, and then I'll click on upload plugin, and I'll just navigate to my plugin, and I'll I'll install it. So after you've uploaded the plugin, also make sure to activate it. All right, so once you activate your plugin, this 3D flipbook uh, option over here will show up. So just navigate to that. And over here, you can add all of your flipbooks. So again, this is um, uh, created using a PDF file. So I'm just going to click on Add New. And over here, give your book a title and you can select a PDF file over here. So again, navigate to your PDF file. As you can see over here, I have a sample one um, that I'm going to use for this live stream tutorial and I'll just upload it and publish it. Now, as mentioned before, we're going to show you two ways on adding these um, these book previews to your page, and that's on click. And 
within the page itself. So the first thing we'll do is add it on click. And for that, we'll need to generate a short code first. And over here, the last option you have is short code generator. So go to this option. And over here, you will see all of your flipbooks. So I have only uploaded one, but you can add up to as many as you want. And I'm just going to select this one. And as you can see over here at the top, the short code will generate automatically. And then I'll switch over to view mode. And over here you have four options. And for this one, I'm going to use the Lightbox activation link. And as soon as I click on one of these options, the short code will change. So I'll just copy this short code. And then I'm going to add it to my page. So it's um, a really straightforward plugin. You don't have to do a lot of modifications within it um, on your own. So you can just simply add these to your pages uh, using the visual builder. So I'm going to add this to my landing page or home page. You can basically add these anywhere you want. And I'm going to enable the visual builder. All right, so and over here I have uh, an image and this image was added to this page using an image module and to create the on-click effect, uh, I will need to get rid of this image module and instead I'm going to use a um, code module where I'll be able to add the image as well. So I'm just going to paste my short code over here and then I'll go back to my WordPress website, uh, my WordPress dashboard and I've used a separate tab for this so I can easily navigate through this and I'll go to media and I'll find my book cover and I'll use this URL right away. But first I will need to add the following uh, lines of line of HTML code. So I'm going to place this um, right in between the short code over here and over here where you can see place your image URL here, uh, you will have to add the image URL that you want to show. So you can find all of, um, all of these steps in this HTML code line within the blog post, which I've mentioned in the description below, or you can just read it off the screen as well. So next I'm going to copy this URL over here and I'm going to place it right between these brackets over here. And here I have my image and I'm also going to change um, the sizing a little bit just to make it match uh, with all of these screen sizes. So I'll modify it for tablet and phone and I'll use 52% for that. And I'll just leave it the way it is on desktop. But of course, you can modify this as well. All right, so now I have this and I'm just going to save this page and exit the visual builder and show you the result in real time. As you can see, when you hover uh, this image, you can see that it's clickable. and the preview gets activated. So we're going to show you the next implementation of this plugin as well, which is uh, on the page itself. And we're going to create a new section for this, but again, first we'll start off with this short code. So I'll go to my WordPress dashboard again. And I'm going to generate a new short code I'm going to use the same PDF file, so the same book preview. Then I'll move on to the view mode. And instead of using the lightbox activation link, I'll use full screen. So this is the short code that I will use. And I'm going to copy this. And then I'll navigate back to my landing page. Enable the Visual Builder. And 
and right below this hero section over here I'm going to add a new section actually I'm going to use the home page but it doesn't really matter you can use whichever uh, layout you want to use so I'll enable the visual builder and right below this hero section I'm going to add another regular section and before adding any modules or rows to it I'm going to open these row se settings and I'm going to apply the same kind of gradient background uh, as was used for the hero section so I'll open the background subcategory navigate to gradient backgrounds and the two colors that I'll use is are um, this is the first one and then you have this second one as well and then I'm going to change my gradient direction into 90 degrees so you you'll definitely need to have this um, correct because it will create a uh, vertical line and I'll use 60% for my star position and 60% for my end position as well All right, so now I can start adding um, my row and the um, modules that I want to add to my row. So I'll use a two column row over here. And before adding any modules, I'm going to change the row sizing. Um, I'll move on to the design tab, open the sizing subcategory, and I'll make this row full width. Okay, so now I can start adding my modules and I'm going to reuse some text modules over here because that makes it really easy to um, maintain the same style throughout your entire website because these are, you know, pre-made and these fit within the style of the layout pack. So um, the first module I'm going to clone is this title module over here. And I'm going to place it in the first column. And then I'll also clone this text module as well. And place it right below it. Of course, you can change the content um, according to your own preferences. So just add a call to action that matches the book preview. Um, and now I'm going to add the short code. So for that, I'm going to use a text module. So I'll just add a text module to the second column of this row. I'm just going to copy this short code once again. And just paste it. And now if I save it. And exit the visual builder. you will see the book preview. So you can add these wherever you want to on your website um, using these short codes. There are also some other short codes over here as far as I could notice. So you have um, a thumbnail and thumbnail and light box option as well. Um, but these two work really well and you can use those other ones as well. But if you want to keep your own images the way they are and just simply create a uh, open on click you can easily do that using the code module all right so that was it for this live stream if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you like all of this high quality content that we're trying to bring to you and you want to contribute in your own way share your knowledge your experience you can do that as well because uh, we're looking for people who want to contribute to the content blog to do the uh, elegant themes block with your own content um, these could be various types of content that you want to share and help the other community members uh, be empowered and use tv even better so thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next live stream or video